All right. Good morning, Star Wars fans. Um, morning. Uh, I am Justin Miyashiro, Jag Tech Hazardville. On with me is Drew Lichtenstein, uh, Coffee Pass. How are you doing today, Drew? Good. How are you? Thanks for waking up early to do this. Good, good, yeah. Uh, I was asleep 20 minutes ago. Um, <laughs> but we are bringing to you a top four match between uh, Taco Bell, Bill Kafer, and Zorfik, Bastion Winklehaus. Um, yeah. Looks Exciting. like Bastion's going to be light, so I did guess that correctly. <laughs> um, yeah, we're waiting to see who's going to be facing Justin Desai in the OCS Championship. I yeah, know. I didn't get to watch. I didn't want get to watch that match yesterday. Um, or was it yesterday? Yeah. It was yesterday, right? It was last. Yeah, yesterday, late e afternoon, early evening. Uh, Justin played Ralops, and uh, Gavin played the. Um, Yoda commuting that pulls like cantina and farm. Mm, um, okay. And it was over pretty quickly. Um, I believe they didn't even play game two. I think Gavin conceded after game one. Um, Gavin kind of went for a big play under route here where he like spread out across a bunch of sites. Um, but he left Owen and Baru alone at the cantina and didn't have a Hujix and got beaten down by a lot there. So. And, uh, Justin rolling in with that Rollops machine. Um, yeah. Yep. But, uh, yeah, it'll be interesting to see what he pulls out in the finals against either Bill or Bashton. But uh, yeah, focusing on today's match should be pretty exciting. Uh, Bashton, you know, kind of rolled in with his um, legend, you know, winning pretty handily against Mike in round two with that. Um, in the first round, he, he also did not play a second game because he won handily with Shadow Collective over Sir Sin's Yoda Commuting. Yes. Um, and then, and then pulled out Ralops against uh, Mike after he had won by about 20 or so in game one. And so Ralops against Mike's Yoda commuting worked out well. Hmm. Uh, but Taco Bell sort of our, uh, you know, underdog punching up here. Uh, first beaten, um, you know, this year's world's runner-up, uh, Matthew Harrison trainer in the first round. And then in the second round, taking down uh, arguably the best player in the game, Joe Olsen, with his, um, you know, um, taking them down with TTO actually versus a commuting. But here we are, we're fired up now. So we're looking at Shadow Collective versus Old Allies. All right. Oh, I was a little bit behind there. All right, there we go. Hmm. Okay. I talked about it, played a lot of the Hunt Down V, so I would not have been surprised him on that. But I think this matchup's a lot better for him. Yeah, so. We talked, we game planned this a little bit. Uh, so Taco Bell is on my team. Um, he actually has played tons of Shadow Collective too. Um, that Shadow Collective and actually Legend were Bill's two main decks throughout OCS. Those are the decks that he actually went 12 and 0 with when he qualified in the first month. So he feels really comfortable with Shadow Collective. Um, I'll say that he's going to be, you know, not I wouldn't say teched out, but definitely prepared for Legend. Right, because we just know how much Bastion loves Legend. Right. Um, but to be honest, it's kind of nice to see old allies here. Um, Legend's hard. It's just a hard deck to beat in general, especially with Bastion's strength with it. So it'll be really interesting to see what, um, what Bastion's kind of prepared with with OA here. Yeah, my understanding is that OA's tip is really just generally worse than Legend right now in the field. That's been my that's been my feeling of it. Yeah, he might have pulled it out, um, one in part because he might have thought that Bill was going to try to tech hard for Legend. So actually, up until a couple days ago, Bill was really focused on playing possibly uh, Rise of the Sith 9s. Mm -hmm. um, so playing like a 9s list with Rise of the Sith, you know, Force Lightning could take out Rey um, against Legend, you know, just kind of dominating the ground that way. And had that been what Bill played, I would think away would have been pretty good against that. But then also, he might have been expecting Hunt Down V. Um, Bill did play Hunt Down... So Bill's last two decks, so against MHT, he played Hunt Down V. And against Bastion, he played... Or, good, sorry, Joe, he played TTO. OA would be very strong against both of those decks. Yes, that is, that is true. So, that was um, certainly a big but, concern for us going into Worlds. Because we were, we were liking TTO. It was like, all right, well, hopefully nobody plays OA. That'll be, that'll be, that'll be our goal. Um, yeah. But then No Way did not do very well at Worlds. Mm -hmm. um, OA has struggled a little bit against Shadow Collective. Before. And Brigham, yeah. Yeah, just doesn't really have the best spot in the meta right now. Strong start for Bill here. Uh, gets his bridge puller on turn one. Always what you want to see when you're playing a bunch of accelerates for your activation. Yeah. 
And he won't be able to do the movement with the Maul Saber attacked, but that's probably not super important. Um, oh, and the open hand Maul, that's always nice. Um, open handing Maul is huge. Yeah, that gives you just an extra turn of damage. So the question now becomes if he's going to throw that Maul in front of that, uh, that Falcon to try to get a huge drain on turn one. This can be risky because, you know, all Bastion needs to have is like a leadership, drop Leia, could battle, kill Maul with a decent draw. So we'll see what direction Bill wants to go with that. Yeah, I mean, it's pretty risky for Bill to, or it's pretty risky for, um, for Bastion to do that, though. He has to put enough characters down that they don't all get hit. Because right. the Falcon would not be immune to attrition there, so he'd be risking the Falcon just dying. Okay. Yeah. There was a, I believe the finals of um, a Gim PC this year was a similar situation where Mike Kessling had this set up, open hand mall, and he threw the mall at the site against MHT, and MHT with ABR, we pulled out Leia and, uh, and Yuo Strau to add another destiny with leadership. So he had the forfeit to cover. He put them inside the Falcon, but was able to add two through that, basically. Mm. Um, and it was That's interesting. Yeah, so Bill, Bill taking his cautious approach here, just drawing a couple cards instead of putting them all out there. On turn one. Um, I think that makes a lot of sense, yeah. You know, that site is actually really strong with Shadow Collective in general, that 2-1, because only your, a lot of your dudes deploy minus one there, too. Yes. So, you know, you can get a good attack on it later in the game. It's like one of the few places where Beaumont can is helpful for a yeah. way. Yeah, it used to be, and most of us don't play Dryden Voss anymore, but we used to play yeah. Dryden Voss, it was just such a kick in, you know, kick in the pants when they would have <laughs> Beaumont Pin, you had to be full six for that guy. <laughs> like, uh, but most of us don't play Dryden, yeah. uh, Dryden Voss. So yeah, then, you know, we'll have probably a standard setup here for OA. You know, I think pretty much the line for OA, turn one will probably be to go to space, right? Establish the drain first. That would be my guess, yeah. So he pulls Solo with General Leia. He already pulled Calrissian. Um, I yep. wonder if his plan is to just put Solo on the ground somewhere, because OA does give increased defense value with Han, but not the vehicles. Yeah. So it's potentially valuable to put to put Han on the ground, although I guess you just shoot Han first, so... Yeah, that's the thing, is, like, I mean, you're defense valuing guys up to, like, Five or six, but you know the shadow cluster plus these things are such high. Yeah. Um, such high SCDs anyways, which probably not anything much. I think he's gonna go up to space. Um, we'll see. I mean, probably that solo pull. I mean, it'll probably just be the standard, in or Cal Ray. Yeah. Combo. You know the, the question always becomes when you make shadow collective list, do you include any space at all? Um, most of the time, people do not. It's low destinies that are floating in a deck that really does, you know, is trying to be pretty aggressive with cutting. Low destinies for high destinies. And so, OA probably feels pretty comfortable, you know, flying up turn one, not really expecting anything to come pay for that. Yeah, and your turn one with Ray and General Kairosin is pretty safe from the space sure. that they might play. Um, yeah, it's it's more like a mid to late game thing, right? Yeah. It's like, do you need to reinforce your space at any point? I mean, if they drop four lom, if they drop Zuckus with four lom and add two destinies and add one to the destiny, could they blow you up? But the reality is that like that's a commitment of resources for them too. Ooh, so he flips the Falcon. Oh, he nope, that's that's wrong. <laughs> <laughs> that'd be that'd be interesting. <laughs> yeah, we were like, oh, this is really this is a really interesting cool play. No, that was Bastion's that was like, you know what? We're gonna. <laughs> <laughs> okay so it seems like Bastion is going to do what we thought go up to space yeah, yeah the, it, this, it's one of the things that it, that makes this matchup so hard for OA is their their mid game can go so many different ways like if if Bill just like found his ship early he can just hold it for most of the game until Bastion assumes he has no space and sends the Falcon down because it's one of the interesting things with OA that OA is really threatening in space as long as they are allowed to commit the Falcon to space. If they aren't, if they have to put it somewhere else, then their space is actually like a little bit shaky. Um, yeah, and it also, I mean, you'll have a Corvette with Radis, but again, it's all about when throughout the game are you 
safe to spin four force to establish this thing that you don't need. Well, if you can't shuttle guys down, it might become, you know, you need to land the Falcon, flip it, have protection from weapons there. Yeah. He's probably playing, a you know, at least one, if not two, keep your eyes open, which is really strong because you can still move that back. Um, Bill really uh, did a nice job open-handing his locations this game, so that's a nice jump for him through that bar. If he has a... Um, you pull that the, the third site from deck, he has a good activation jump. Kira for two, taking advantage of that deploy minus one on the site here. Looks like yeah, Justin was in the chat was just as surprised as we were that uh, he wasn't <laughs> going to flip, but it turns out. <laughs> Yeah, it does not you know does make a good point that no guy on turn one does make it to like Bill's gonna have to be the one who pulls battle plan or battle order. Pulls another shield. Yeah. Um, Bill really going really heavy to that site. Don't necessarily love this. Um, you know, it kind of commits you to just get having to eat it for it's a hit. Um, you know, Bastion kind of can buy a lot of time now if he has it's a hit. Huh. So Bill plays Point Man. See, it's interesting because, as, as you said, OA often plays some number of copies of Keep Your Eyes Open, which, right. when I'm playing Shadow Collective, usually means that I try not to play Point Man un until I've seen it, because often Point yeah. Man ends up getting grabbed, which didn't happen in this case. Yeah, so it might be Bastion doesn't act, isn't playing Keep Your Eyes Open, like yeah. you didn't put Bill on Collective. I also don't love but obviously i don't know his cards in the hand or his force pile but ideally if i'm playing a point man with like a seven card force pile i'm not gonna then draw a bunch of other cards ideally mm -hmm. you just draw you keep your force pile large because what you want to do a shadow collective is then hit bear sight um he uh hit Dorsey, with a bunch he, of dudes. he had forced to grab when point man was played he drew with ray yes um, no shield pull here from Bill. He's going to play in the chicken and make uh, Bastion pull it first. Is Bastion three extra force to work this, this turn? Bastion misses his location deploy, so we'll see if he has the 2-2 two -two in hand or not. Yeah. If he doesn't, that is a nice tempo nice tempo um, advantage from Bill. That sets him back a turn deploying guys to the ground. Yeah, and cuts off activation for a turn. Probably actually more activation even than just the two, because if there was another one, if there was another site, then Bill could flip and would satisfy um, for a brave resistance, but I yeah. don't think you yeah. want to put guys in front of Kira and Maul, so... Yeah, it's just if Maul is at that 2-1, you have the extra leaders for... You know, forcing the flip, so then you could drop like another guy to your two one and start getting pings in that way, which would be strong. Um, yeah, I just I don't always love the stack up, but if Bastion doesn't have an early, it's a hit. That's gonna be really good for Bill. Three PO comes out. Bastion's got all the card manipulation between three PO and Ray. He's gonna take for all the pieces that he needs pretty quickly. The plans comes out for Bill. What did we lose to that drain? It was an accelerate from hand and a balatic off the top. Okay. A balatic off the top. Which losing yeah. balatic off the top hurts. Yeah, that's not Baltic great. Balatic is a huge piece um, in this matchup because you basically, you know, turn. I mean, turning off Leia Rebel Princess is really, really important. Um, honestly, if I was building, if you have no escape, yeah, I would no escape balatic right now. Yeah, um, and balatic also. Even, gets around um <clears throat> gets around it's a hit gets around projection yep. um because you're certainly going to be playing primarily to jaku if you can um i mean also works against han potentially if solo goes to the ground i don't know how likely yeah, that but is it, but... it's it's that drain protection that's yeah. just so important against this in this matchup yeah and another gangster so you can flip i mean obviously it's a good card in the deck it's, 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 so but in this particular matchup yeah it seems like one of the ones that you don't want to lose now, I wonder if Bill not playing um, Battle Order might lead us to think he has some sort of space. I mean, I guess your space you'd probably want to hold to, tr to try for 
an attack, right? To try to. I mean, he still doesn't have enough space to attack on turn two with only thirteen force. I mean, you right. had Zuckus four lob or whatever. You might clear both Ray and Calrissian, but not even now with three PO added. Like you're, I don't know. You're unlikely to get. Yeah. No, I'm. I'm not so much thinking about an attack immediately as much as uh, like, it's really awkward for a one theater deck to be the one that pulls battle order. Of course. Like you, but, may, you I mean, may just play chicken. You may just play chicken anyway, even if you like maybe should pull battle order. But it's tough because it just does give Bastion a three force advantage, right? Yeah. It's like, oh, well, I guess I don't want to pull it, but now you gotta determine if you want to lose on that. See where you're looking for me. Come from use pile. Here's a drain. I bet we're gonna see it's a hit. Uh, you might e have to grab. Yeah. Either way, you can't add to this drain. Because it could be worse. There's just too much risk. Everyone, there. hold your breath to see if we have it. Oh, oh cancels no. it, Bastion. <laughs> we had misses too. Oh, oh no, I rarely use text from <laughs> the, Kira. The Kira but... text blowout. <laughs> yep, that. Uh, I forgot about that. Yeah. that. That is a rare misstep from Bastion. Um, rare misstep from Bastion, and also, um, well, now if I'm Bill, I'll go ahead and probably add because that kind of gives. Um, it's it's to too late today. to add, um, because it, it could be worse. Only gets played oh, when the damage right, right. happens. It's so it's, yeah, so it's it's too late for for that. Tunnel villager and Leia. Tunnel villager is an interesting card. It doesn't do anything in this matchup, sadly. Right, you can't, so you can't um, cancel the rain, yeah, but there is. there's that no escape for the Valentine. There you go. Man, do you just like stack up the site and then plan to move over? I, I guess so. Maybe, yeah. I mean, if you basically are like, look, like, you need to occupy two more battlegrounds in order to um, turn on ultimatum, or I'm just gonna hit you for five every turn here. That's not the worst play now. Yeah. Maybe Good build. forty-five seconds for Belk. Yes, that's. <laughs> 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 it was a good I, I would sequence. Say, I would say give Bill some credit for the mall move to stack up here, but, but to be fair, he didn't know he was going to move Balotik off the top and have no escape for him. So, um, not sure you need to throw the blaster on Balotik here. I guess you're just being super cautious in case he comes to battle you, but I don't see a way that... I yeah, I mean, like, Kira's going to... Kira's attacking that, so... Kira is pretty likely to cover if he attacks. I mean, I guess there's there's always like Chewy to to hit one of the characters and stuff, but yeah. Um... Yeah, now it's really putting some pressure on Bastion to have to go wide to, to satisfy ultimatum. Yeah. Now, interesting too that Bastion saves so much force given that he missed his sights last turn. Yeah. I don't know. He well, might have found a sight drawing, or yeah. I mean, it, as it's possible that he has the sight in hand and not want to deploy it. Right, just didn't have the didn't, didn't, want didn't have the, the yeah. So just use the objective for a verify, basically, and is holding back the sight to, until he can deploy a bunch of guys on it. Right, like you don't want to yeah. deploy a semi weak force and then have shadow club to just clear it immediately. Yeah. So now with seventeen force, he feels more comfortable to. to deploy. He is draining for two here. Yeah, it's certainly one of the things that I've seen, um, like, like some playing league coming games off and the stuff. Top. It's there's, so there's a sight from hand. Yeah. Possibly have a sight already. Is it like some some less experienced away players will, like, try for the flip too early or will deploy too too light to the locations and Shadow Collective can can just beat them up if they do that. So yeah, and while OA does obviously. To, do the slow way. So lots of tricks and the minus two and everything. Yeah, so it seemed pretty likely he did just have these sights in hand or, you know, wasn't really eager to flip next turn anyways. Yeah. But, you know, 18 force, that gives Bill 23, probably 20 if he pays for the drain next turn to work with. Um, that is an interesting non negligible sight amount of force. Like the two, two next to them. Yeah, because so I, would assume, I would assume I would assume the 2 one. 2 is the location that you want to stack up. Right. So you would think you would put it away from Giving the characters that are already access deployed. Access to move stuff over there. Yeah. yeah. Especially since Balatik is on the board, so you kind of presume that he's going to move over as part of the group. 
because like you could you you can uh like try to sort of bait them into going to that site and then lock it down with it's a hit or whatever but i guess uh gin would still work so gin will still work so if he has a gin, he's certainly going to try to dig for the gin. Um, Shadow Clip, you know, will have something that busts up a spy, probably a BV-9E. Um, but then that means BV-9E's busting up the spy and not stopping Rose and BV-8, so that could be yeah. a use for it. Uh, I mean, Rose, Rose and BV-8 are tempting enough targets to just attack, so... Uh, Shadow Collective certainly has certainly has enough material to attack them and doesn't need to rely on shutting them down with BV-9. Well, I mean, he's certainly presenting a come fight me group if it's just laying these two old guys. Yeah, um, it's going to be, yeah. I mean, he's going to have two destinies, possibly three with a leadership or a limit with a leadership, but he's going to have seven power across three guys. Right. That's, uh... Importantly, also has a full grip of cards, right? Uh, so yes. keep your eyes open is valid. We know Bastion loves it. It's a trap. So if you, well, I guess he can't be looking for people, so if he see to lay alone. Gratis is just showing up for some forfeits. Yeah, so the question kind of becomes, do you take the bait here? So this is a pretty doable site to attack if you have like EPP Dengar and Pointman back up for keep your eyes open. But you just pay for your drain, hit him for five this turn, and then just spread out to your two other sites if you're Bill, and then just try to get your flip going and damage that way. Yeah. Um, you know, he can reduce the dead ping to one. That would still be a ping from your objective on the flip. Um, so, but he already has two guns committed and one gun lost, and this can definitely happen. Yeah, I don't think uh, a fourth... Shadow Collective, where you get guns floating around. Sorry, what you fourth one? Oh, no, the chat's saying the fourth gun was lost. I don't think the fourth... Let me, let me look. Let's see. Maybe, I don't think so. He lost nice. Accelerate and... Yeah, it was Accelerate uh, and Balotic to the first drain. Balotic yeah. got picked. Yeah, no, there's only one gun I lost. There's just one. Yeah. Um... Justin doesn't make the good point though. It's like solo in hand means that you can go to one of uh, to one of the dark light sites because the smuggler site will be drained three. Yep, that will be his go wide. Um, yeah. It's certainly the third site he would rather commit to. Hmm. Sebastian picked up the Corvette with Radis, put it down with three PO, and then lost it to the drain. Yep. The classic. You know, you're going to lose a thing to a drain, so you might as well three PO it. First. Yeah. Well, and putting the Corvette lower in the lost pile so that you don't accidentally retrieve it with Leia. Right. I believe that the Corvette's certainly a commitment that the cards that are currently at Jakku will be the only cards at Jakku in yeah. the game, probably. Yeah. Be adding a capital, not going to be landing Falcon. Although it's an easy one to lose, and it can from reserve deck, and then Gling from reserve deck. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, and probably the only one of those Z cards. Zuck it, Zuck is, Zuck is for long Java battle. Go with the system. <laughs> Ooh, Ezra. That's an interesting Ezra, card. All right, so Ezra's kind of a nod toward Shadow Collective being a potential... Uh, well, Ezra, opponent, Hero, right? and Fiend... Oh, oh, yeah, because it does affect... Right, because it affects Maul. Yeah, yeah. I was thinking about the Ezra deploy to the Maul. So I was like, well, Ezra still needs we to be go. a spy. Bill, Bill's going to come at him. He's going to... Potentially take the bait, or at least try to see what he can do with the site. So we see Dr. E. There's only does three. appear to have a gun in his reserve deck. He only saved three, so he only has two force in reserve now. Yeah. So obviously if he hits, he recirculates so that you know, yeah. what he's hoping for. Dengar's strong. Again, if he can get a couple hits in, or get a hit in, he'll recirculate. Yeah. Um, though again, if this... Is an example where if Maul had just been at the two one instead of this site, oh, their drain would have been reduced this turn. But he could have just flipped naturally that way. Mm -hmm. Bastion draws his bottom card, so for baiting baited breath here to see if there would be a first strike. Yeah, <laughs> I'm always hesitant on drawing that last card until we're past deploy. Yep, there's the first strike. Wow, first strike is huge here. Huh. Huge first strike. This could be. 
Wow, this like could be this could almost be game. Um, well, you can expect he's probably gonna clear the site at least. Um yeah. and Dr. E's gonna eat everyone that he uh so the tricky thing no interrupt the, the tricky <laughs> thing is making sure that you hit leia who's defense six well you can hit strauss first to make your defense five oh uh, that's true you could hit i mean that's also just for first. the i mean this is already an utter blowout right i mean this is already yeah dominating this site and there are four hit. yeah and there are four shots so if, if, if all of your destinies are good enough you know, and he knows his destiny he needs to flip. So does he, he, does he know those two? Yeah, he deployed the gun from reserve deck. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Blacks and blocks. Sorry, I thought I thought you were saying they were tracked. Strauss is defense value three, so Radis is defense value three, so he certainly is flipping, unless he just randomly has two twos in there, which I'm sure he doesn't, or he wouldn't be doing this. Yeah. Yeah, this is going to be something. Uh, so... But, Oh, it can reduce the first one. Yeah, do you reduce? Then Maul can add to this. Maul can add to this. So even if you reduce it, Maul can add. Well, that. Oh, yeah, that would be a hit, right? Because it'd be two plus so be three plus, plus one. Five yeah, to yeah. three reduces to yeah. three. Maul adds. So it's just a question that Bash did. Yeah. So yeah, definitely don't reduce Maybe that. The ball here or not. Just has to target Radis. No, Radis is the one you don't want to shoot because you, if you hit all of these characters, then Radis doesn't draw. That is correct. Radis is one you want to leave behind. Yeah, you, you want to hit. You want to hit everybody else. <laughs> want to hit everyone else. Yeah. So, but if he's yeah, going to recirculate, you're not sure. So basically, what he's doing is he's saving the minus two to try to keep Leia alive. Yes. To try to force him to use a bunch of shots at Leia. Yeah. So he can at least draw a battle destiny. And then hoping to overflow by a million. So, Bastion is not going to have any action since he has no force up. Ezra is in his loss. Yeah, Ezra, Ezra's not in play, so we're going. Oh. <laughs> Decide saying he had to <laughs> make a new username, which is why All Stars has three L's. <laughs> Don't All Stars do this. All right, so this is going to be a hit on um, Leia if, if he doesn't use the minus two, which I'm sure he will. Yes, he should use the minus two here. But that's the thing, right? Nope. He has four shots, so he can afford to have one of them subtracted as long as all the others hit. It's early enough in the game. One shot. This is. Oh. No, he's just letting her get hit. Huh. That's interesting. Why? I would have thought you would reduce there. Because it's a six, you reduce. Because a four, mall adding doesn't get you there. Yeah, that's. That's. No, but bizarre. now we're looking at Blowout City here. Oh, uh, he misses on Lorison. So he's saving him to try to just keep Lorison Taka alive. Okay, so okay. Sith Fury. Yeah, maybe he's saving because he. Needs one of the shots to just naturally miss. I think uh, that I one, miss that one will miss. That one gets reduced. But he still has another shot here. He still has another shot. So yeah, you, you definitely just go for more Sintake again. That's yeah, I think you. Right. I think you probably should have shot. I feel like probably should have subtracted. I mean, I guess it didn't matter, right? Because this four. Ah, uh, he hit. misses again though. Hmm. I mean, not. Yeah, this is still oh, fine. <laughs> there's still nine <laughs> still, forfeits. So there's still there's they're covering less one right now. Pen down. Pen down. What a card. What is that? <laughs> Pona may not react away from a battle. That's fine for dodge, right? And then if you have a blaster present when an opponent cancels a battle, draw a destiny, they lose four seat with a draw. So okay. he added pin down in KC face legend and he was gonna be Oh yikes! Ooh. Minus one on that, so so we're down. No one. Uh, we're down six. Uh, um, he's down by fifteen. Well, he, he's he's sorry. He's he's down six after the forfeit. After four. Yeah. It's peel and lose I mean, everything and six. Could have been and flips back. Pinned Honestly, could down. have been worse. Yeah. For, um, yeah, that could have been that could have been much worse. Yeah, so pin down with uh, Bill out of that in case. 
Bastion was playing Legend, where we had noticed that a lot of the Legend Shadow Collective, at least the way that Bastion had been playing it, was, yeah, it's for It's a Trap. Yeah. So he would just be looping It's a Trap, retrieving it, and then you could never get in the battle he needed. Right. Pin down would at least, you know, force At least get some damage, yeah. That makes sense. I mean, it's, it's good against Dodge, too, so... Right. Um, wait, does Dodge cancel the battle also? No, dodge is a react away. Right. Yeah. No. Yeah. 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 So you wouldn't. You. I, I was trying to think if you get to double. The pin down is out. You can't dodge away. Anymore. Yeah, because you can't dodge away at all. Bastion. Trying to figure out what he's going to lose. So he lost Ackbar, which makes sense. Loses Corn Horn from hand. He's got four. I force up, and Bill has the gig. So if I was Bill, it's pretty straightforward. I would definitely just be just spread. Away. Yeah. Spread. Yeah. Because you already have the gig, and that also blocks him from being able to. Oh, well. So what Flipping would it, becomes very challenging. Yeah, so it would be move... i move uh, Dr. E. Dr. E over, one. move uh, Kira over. Yeah. So that way you spread your pings and then you just draw a couple. Yeah. So and again, the gig not, can, Oh, he's just going to draw. draw. Okay. Three. A little bit more cost. I guess we know he has the solo in hand, so he's worried about solo Chewy beat down, but that's committing two more cards into play. And you have the gick. I don't know. I think if I was Bill, you want to kind of go for the jugular a little bit here to try to end the game a little bit faster. Because yeah, that's what I would think. Oa is pretty good at like doing some late game stuff in a match play situation to reduce diff. Right. Exactly. Though we did just see where Doom lost off the top. Um, we see Handle being played to add to the drain now. So yeah. if he had moved over, he could have also then pulled Resistance to stop Handle. I would have just moved over Doctor E to the two one. So you get the extra damage on the flip. Um, you also are just clogging up the ground with sights and like, yeah. Yeah, like, I, like I think moving Kira over is fine too, but. Um, Bastion, or sorry, Bill does not grab handle. I would have maybe grabbed handle. Yeah. There. I guess he's saving it for word doom combo. Yeah, to think he has word. I mean, yeah, having word doomed and word doomed combo is not actually unreasonable, but. Should have moved those an extra one damage to, uh, and auto flip. Yeah, that's yeah, what we're I saying. Think, but yeah, you move. You move oh Kira, yeah, actually, wait, yeah, he sh e. should have moved Kira. E even if he leaves that stack there, he should have moved Kira so that yeah. he would auto flip. It's exactly what Justin's yeah. saying. Yeah, yeah. You gotta kind of because what's the worst case scenario? He drops two guys to try to battle into you. Both of them are gonna die. Yeah. Um. So he's just committing more cards to the board that die. Like. Yeah, using handle here is fine. That's the only that's the only thing handle's gonna do, really. Right. I just so. do you grab the handle or not? You probably I don't yeah. Know, grabbing grabbing the handle would mostly out of life force at this point. Yeah, it would, it would mostly just be you're not expecting to pull to grab any other cards because you don't think battles are probably gonna happen very much from here on out. But that's yeah, probably I mean, I so. premature to think that. So. Right, so Bill's probably gonna. Oh, oh, sorry, Bastion. I would guess there's probably gonna be solo coming out of that two one look we've been talking about, especially with. You know, so many of the heavy hitters already committed to Jakku. Um, yeah. Yep, so Rose goes there. Solo's probably going to go there, too. So, I mean, this is establishing a, a solid drain. Yeah, there are four um, guns committed, too. So, like... Four what, guns committed. What could be left? Three guns in play, one dead. Finn comes out. Solo, solo has come to come out, out too, yeah. What ha so what, solo at... could be left. It could be um, Asajj and another gun. And... Another gun... IG-88, yeah. maybe? Well, IG-88... Yeah, it's a gun, doesn't hit, but yeah. So Chewie's yeah. there too, so Chewie increases that drain. Um, I mean, Bill's safe as play next turn, obviously not knowing the cards anymore, what he's going to do. Is going to be um, the walking, popping back out for We're Doomed, so now he's going to try he'll to just draw it track again. that We're Doomed. Yeah, because it'll just be on uh, top, so you can just draw it. With, that will probably be the right, the right grab. Yeah. Um, yet, I know Handle doesn't stop. Weapons with Maul. Um, they'll just spread out, and then... The bill will probably spread out to the third site. Satisfy resistance. Get more ping going. Get another drain going. Um, he just should have done that last turn. Yeah. To get much more damage going this turn, probably. Because, like, this... Yeah, because, like, even this, even this beat squad, right, wouldn't be that... Wouldn't be all that threatening against... Correct. Any of the lo like the worst thing it could have been is you put that all against Doctor E who's alone. But, but he has the he has the gick in hand, right? I yeah, mean, we know he has gick in hand already because he pulled it with Master Blue. So like he was totally safe. He, Bill would want that. 
Bill would want to have him commit three of the guys he has left in his deck to have them die in battle, basically. Yeah, because um, yeah, that battle's horrible. On the, yeah. So, instead, we're kind of looking at Drain Race here. Um, Bill paying for Drains. Um, I'm going to probably have to grab this for Doomed, which does mean that it's a hit. could be live if he has it's a hit. So, I guess then, let's see. Yeah, there's no good way to... I was trying to see if there was a way to get around we're doomed for a turn, but all of your damage is two, so... And Bastion only has 16 in life force at this point. Uh, 14 yep. reserve, and then one and one. There goes Jin, which is huge. Yeah. Uh, Bill needs to pull Code Clear at Shield. Um, hopefully. Yeah. Before Bastion has enough force to get that Jin back. So Bastion killing uh, a couple rebel leaderships. Um, was that clash? And a Hera. Uh, yeah, the the clash is below the cards just lost to that drain. Um, hmm. So yeah, actually that's a good point. Clash would suggest um, maybe an Ahsoka. Maybe floating a Jedi lightsaber. Yeah, we're floating a Jedi Leia. light. Yeah, flo floating a Jedi lightsaber or maybe an EPP Ahsoka. Mm -hmm. Jedi lightsaber is probably more likely. Yeah, I believe that's what um, Emil did in his um, Heroes winning list. He's going at that site with Caesar. Uh, uh, there is seven. There is seven ability, so that's not going to be a problem. Boy, does he have his last gun in hand? That would be wild. I mean, it could also be, especially since sorry about. I mean, nothing. Like, sorry about the mess that much away, but it could be that. Well, sorry about the mess is on top of Lost right now. Right, right. Well, I'm saying because <laughs> you're not worried about it, it, you wouldn't worry about it to begin with, and it's also been lost. Yeah. Oh, he <laughs> does have the he does have the last gun. Wow. Yeah, he's going for it. I guess. Um, you can retreat. They'll pull your code clearance. Don't let that gin come back. <laughs> he's still got time. He's still got time. There's only <laughs> one card. Uh, wait a second. Oh, because he played We're Doomed. Okay. I'm like, why didn't he lose a force to First Strike? Right. Because he played We're Doomed. Um, I don't know how great this attack is, unless there's going to be a sniper here, because Chewie's going to hit someone. You could end up the Bash, it then still just has Rose left. Chewie's going to hit someone, and then if Bastion draws a Five that would clear the gun and everyone. Control tunnel vision. Hmm. Yeah, th this is very similar to Immel's list from Heroes. Immel had tunnel vision. He had the yeah. lightsaber. Um, he had an Arshada, which if that shows up would he had to attack with whatever he has. Damage. I don't think I don't know if that's true. Like, he could have put both of these characters to the other Jakku site and pulled Resistance, and that would have been just as fine, like... Yeah. I mean, although the this does... Is, yeah, like... You have to Bastion clear the site. And the thing is, Finn forfeits for six. And Chewie hits someone. So you need Bastion not to draw five. Yeah. Basically. I mean, even if he... Like, whatever he draws, though, is going to kill the gun. Unless he draws a one. We're going to have Zam left alone facing down Rose, basically, if he draws low. Oh, she did no. Just gets subtracted. Yeah. Jedi left? There you go. Oh, the Jedi left. Yeah. Well, at I least he used the Jedi left there and not on the gym. Let's I see. I think you go for that anyway, right? Like. There's the Jedi lightsaber. Um. Yeah, I think you go for it, too. Because the strength of having Zam with the gun still is nice. Yeah. So we'll have Zam facing down Rose, which will then mean that Solo is going to be committed back to this site. We do know that uh, Bill has the Gick, so that's good for Bill. And then Finn's going to go gonna get forfeited yeah. to used. So it blocks the drain, which is strong. Um, you get an extra retrieval from first strike. Force yeah, so actually, yeah, just caused one one loss here and loss of tempo. That's actually, that's a pretty reasonable play, even though it didn't seem like it. Move the Dr. Rate. E. 
Move, do- move, Doctor Hate, move, Kira. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> Hey, rules lawyers, how's this gonna work? Does he get pinged or not when the objective looks here? Is uh, that end of turn still covered by we're doomed? I think it I isn't? think it also isn't. Because it happened yeah, game. because it happens it. after the end after uh, we're doomed's effect ends. Yes, it says required to lose one force. Yeah, we did. That's one force also yeah, makes sense, but Um, Bill needs to pull. I mean, he doesn't need to, but now would be a great time to pull that uh, code clearance. So I believe he just activated down to Finn to draw it with 3PO. They can commit Finn in solo to fight Zam. Yeah. Um, Which will probably leave Solo and Rose. Now, of course, the trouble spot is that Bill also has a gun low in the for- low in reserve. Mm-hmm. So he'll be able to activate a lot. And it's probably shortish on guys. I mean, probably at this point, Bill's just going to pay the drain across those sites. Yeah. And pulling resistance kind of signals that maybe that's where we're going. Well, he pulls resistance because he just has the three sites and he doesn't want to get handle drained again. Mm, sure, sure. Um, the fourth pull just needs to be code clearance so that Jen doesn't come out and slow down the game a little bit more. Yeah. I wonder if he's thinking he's maybe okay on that because the Jedi love already got played and he's not expecting to. Well, except he has 3PO, so he'll just track it around and take it in hand. Sure, but he's fine for this turn. It's still kind of a principle you yes. probably should play. He's, anyway. not going, he's not going to spend 8 force to deploy Jin here. In one row. It's just he's going to play Finn, he's going to play Solo. But I don't know what other shields Bill really wants here, so it probably would make sense to do it anyway. Solo shield is your your fifth shield here, but obviously not as important. Yeah. Retrieval for Bastion is strong to get Chewie to come back. Ping for Bill. Maul from hands. Yeah, it's probably not going to need that. Pretty safe. Doesn't need that. I don't even need to gig here. Depending on how high he draws, because yeah. Sam's power four, she's eight. So with the mall stuff, he's not even down by anything yet. Ooh. Be eight though might might require him to kick. You probably even if it's just a couple force loss, you'd probably kick. Yeah, it's probably it's worth it. Yeah. Unlikely that these two cards remaining in hand are going to be enough to. Yeah, there's so little play. action left in deck for Bastion. Yeah, I mean, there's a Chewie floating around, but that Chewie's not going to. Yeah. Attack anything. It's trackable. Um, um, uh, you don't and he doesn't need to get because he has to lose point decimal amount of force anyways. Yeah, he'll lose one force, yeah. We're going to pick up this card in hand with Zam, if that's what he so wishes. Finn will be used. Um, if he has a Saj in hand, that's going to be really big, right? Yeah. Saj will let him pay off this site. You kind of may as well pick up that last card, right? There's not really a reason not to. Well, you're going to want to pay nine to drain, right? Uh, okay, oh. sure, sure, sure. So it depends on what's already in hand. Right. So where's the gun? The gun is... is... I want to say yeah. there should be three cards below it. All right, so you cut yourself three activations. Or no, he recirculated from the, the hit. He recirculated from the hit, so there should be two cards below it. Battle Destiny, Power Destiny. So I don't think he used yeah. the first. So yeah, so you could activate 15... <clears throat> or sorry, you'd have to activate... 14 to grab the gun. Um, well, no, now there's now there's three cards below it. Because he received yeah, the one. So. so that Asajj is really just what he needs. Because if you do that, if you only activate 13, you're not going to have enough to battle. So if you had Asajj in hand... Then you just battle. do two drains and battle? That's fine. Like <laughs> You're still going to need to... Well, if you have Asajj in hand, you activate everything. Rain, oh, because you recirculate. Right, right, right. Because you're going to recirculate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But if you have to get the gun... Um, then you activate yeah. 13, yeah. drain, drain, play a creep, play a guy, pull the gun, battle. Yeah, which is probably worth it. Which is the pure, to be what he's going to do. So he draws, Bastion draws with 3PO, which should be the BB.
No, it would be the fin, right? Oh, yes, yes, that should be the fin. Be the yes. fin, the fin that's right. The fin can't free react to yeah. the logo bro, so that's fine. Uh, I don't think Smash he's going to be able to keep the BB on top here. He just has to lose too much force. Yeah. Yeah. BB's gone. There's the, yeah, chewy. the chewy. would be gone. So his, so his hand is fin and something. Sebastian's paying for a drain of four. Bill. Bill's paying for the drain. Bill, Bill, thank you. <laughs> Taco. Let's do Taco. Yeah. Taco's paying for his drain of four here. Losing a masterful move from here. Pretty clear signal. He's going to play a dude. Are you okay? Are you okay? Ooh. That would have been good on the attack there. On either attack, actually. Well, it has to be from a Jakku site. So oh, yeah. Like... Useless. Um, <laughs> anyway. Uh, subtracting two is subtracting two from a Drawn Destiny is actually... That's Still verifying cool. his deck with the first light pull. So, obviously, he has a dude with a gun. Um, yeah. He just wants to see what the Destinies were below the gun, because he should know the two that were drawn in the battle. Oh, he, he saved five, though. So he saved one. Well, he's going to... Well, it doesn't really matter, because he's going to recirculate. He doesn't have to. That's true. I'm actually, like... When I played Shadow Collective, I think I recirculate, like, 50% of the time, maybe? Cause he, just has to hit, he just has to hit Rose, and Handle doesn't work because of Maul, and yeah. OA is flipped, so it's not like that's going to be too challenging. Yeah. Um... And the gun... You know, honestly... Oh, I no. <laughs> that could be... That could be quite bad. Uh, yeah. I guess Is he's gonna... Capture he solo? Solo. And then overflow and for Rose. some? A useless gesture. So he okay. can't use solo in battle. He can't use solo in the battle. Um, so I don't quite... I can't remember if there was a relevant. Oh no, there is one. There's fucking. There's there's a. You uh, are you okay? Right on top here. That would be really really good. Um. Well. Yeah. No. 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 I'm just th thinking out loud. Like. Is this better than just a dude with a gun? Draw. Uh, so this. Yeah. I guess. This, this has got to be better. Rose is only. I'm just trying to figure out why he activated, and then verified. Like, is the thing I'm not quite sure about. Mm. Yeah, because he could have activated one more and had a definite hit. Right. Because it was a or was it? It, it was it was a gun. So a gun, any gun would have hit Han here. Right. It's just so I mean I guess he looked at his five and just knows that they're all threes. But if he knew where the gun was, anyways, and also yeah. he knew your destiny. Like I think he should. Destinies have. were higher. Um, his destinies were higher, so like he could have. Yeah. Well, and and he didn't. Pull, well, I guess pulling the gun doesn't really accomplish anything. Right. It, it, it's fairly inconsequential, because yeah. obviously he knew that everything was going to work. Yeah. Um, Dorsh is right. Roche? Roche? He should put uh, back any use of before battle, yeah. He should, he should throw him out now, because I would imagine Bastion is probably just going to try to empty his life force if possible. And yeah. He draws a good signifier of it. Yep. There There's he is. One. Right, so Bill... Taco heard that. So <laughs> he's, he's listening. Bill, so you're not supposed to be awesome. in the chat while you're playing. And then, like, possibly a masterful move. Can't really point, man. Yeah. Uh, so this is going to be 7 to 1. Minus 1. Yeah. So Ooh, I actually wonder if you shouldn't have added. It doesn't matter. He doesn't have retrieval. My guess is he played oh, every yeah, single yeah, yeah. use interrupt he has anyway, so... Yeah. Uh, also, it doesn't look like he can... It's not enough of a flow to be enough. Yeah. Well, that's like, if he ha if he... Because he added, it was enough overflow. If he just doesn't forfeit Rose, he could have just lost all seven. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you're right. But by oh, then... it'd be one more because the flip ping here. Oh, yeah, 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 the flip ping. If he actually could have just... But, like, to some degree... Yeah, so yeah. It's gonna, it, the, the number's going to be 19. He's going to pay 3, he's going to drain, Bill's going to lose. Lose from hand, yeah. Bill's going to lose. Oh. I don't think Bash was supposed to do that. I guess that doesn't matter. Well, he's just going to draw. It doesn't matter. Yeah. He would have just lost two cards from hand. Yeah. And 
That's game. Wow. All right. So Taco Bell 19? wins game one by 19. Yeah, strong play by yeah. – strong game by Taco. Definitely took advantage of maybe a little – little bit of, I would say maybe aggression by Bastion to try to set up at that site, you know, letting all those, you know, with that kind of more minimal protection. Yeah, drawing through, I mean, I guess, I guess maybe he didn't have anything in hand for it to matter anyway, but like drawing through the first strike before the first strike was played. Yeah, that, that's, that's the thing. I mean, the thing is that like drawing it before the first strike comes out, lets Bill be like, oh, wow, all right, we're going for it. You know, like it, yeah. it kind of loosens up Bill's ability to play when you have no force and had the first strike in hand. Yeah, and then, like, walk it, like, just burning the it could be worse for nothing was pretty bad. Well, that's just a mistake. I mean, that's just a straight yeah. break apart mistake. That's, uh, that's not, like, a misplay. Um, so. So, they're, they're, it looks like they're I maybe going to take a couple minute break here. Yeah, probably one Yeah. Yeah, it's like, on Bill's side, I kind of feel like the only thing... The only thing that we disagreed with was we should, thought he should have been more aggressive after the beatdown, but I think it worked out well, fine. Yeah, early on, I would have maybe moved Maul to Cloud City site. It ended up working great for Bill because he found that politique to really protect that drain. Yeah. Um, and so... I mean, I don't think we saw it's wrong. a hit. I don't think we saw it's a hit in Bastion's We did not see it's a hit from Bastion, so Bastion... Maybe it didn't you know, happen again, at all. Again, maybe he was trying to mind read or kind of soul read Bill and thought he was going to be playing like that Rise of the Sith deck. Yeah, um, where you can't. You can't yeah. hit the Dreams against the Sith anyways. Um, I mean, it could be one yeah, of the and four Yeah, and then there was a turn. Here. Basically, Bastion had like, or sorry, Bill had like a turn where he could have moved over to Flip to kind of put in more pressure. Yeah. Uh, I mean, give Taco credit. He definitely had the um, right plan here. Right. Mm -hmm. I mean, he had enough left in the tank after attacking the two-two that he then could go after the first light site. Um, so even after he had sealed up the victory, he kept the differential pretty high by yeah. not having to eat the drains there. No, it, yeah, eat the drains and the retrieval to delay it and create more drains. Yeah, 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 for sure. So what yeah. do you think they're going to pull out for game two? Oh, I. Hmm. Okay, so. <sighs> Bastion's hard to guess. There's he has so much range. Like I know he likes the bring it before me droids that that we showed him. I like I know he could play Roths. He could, he could play anything. Um, on Bill's light, I mean you probably got a better, better sense of Bill than I do. Uh, Man, I know what he's actually playing. Well, uh, <laughs> sure, <laughs> I'll sure. say what we know that's, he's played a lot of that's is less. London commuting. Yeah. So he's played commuting. Um, so round one versus MHT. He. Um, he played Legend. And then round two versus Joe, he played Commuting. If it's um, me, I would probably play Legend over Commuting. Um, yeah. I just, I think, I think Legend's probably better. Um, although, well, I guess you can't make the choice, right? You have, they have to submit decks already, They're so. locked in. Hopefully yeah. they've submitted their deck list, otherwise this whole commentary is... Oh, no. <laughs> don't, um. don't, don't, <laughs> let's not do that again. Um, uh, ideally, there's been some deck list submissions and we're not... Um, yeah. No, the, the killing your thumbs. Um, yeah, so Bill, pretty experienced with Legend. As I mentioned earlier, when he went 12-0 and 0, uh, that month, he um, he did play Legend as his deck that he 6 0 with. And, you know, he likes Legend. And as do members of our team, Garg and I in particular are a big Legend player. So he definitely could have that as an option. Yeah. Um, Bastion's dark range is really big. Um, but he loves Shadow Collective. Yeah, um, that, that's sort of been his OCS deck. He also um, really likes, uh, or he played that Bring Him Before Me Droids deck at Euros, and also played it at Contention OCS. So that's another deck that he knows really well. Um, and he uh, plays Rail Ops, right? Mm -hmm. I mean, he's, he's, he played it in the top eight of Euros. Um, and then a the fourth one that we know he really likes is CCT. I should love CCT. He used to play tons of CCT last year played cct um at least a couple times in like big matches like over him playing joe in a i think probably the uh, outrider cup with cct no oh. bastion's dark range is large so knowing that bastion's dark range is large that's a decision in what bill decided to go with for them yeah so hi chris um <laughs> uh, yes i i am leaving tomorrow i will be offline for three weeks gonna be traveling for a couple weeks 
Fonda. Excited to commentate this game first. She's just fired. Yeah. Battle Ops versus No Idea. Hmm. Okay. So we went with No Idea because um, we just feel like it's a very safe deck yeah. against a wide range. Battle Ops is definitely something that we did consider as possible that Bastion would play, but we did we put it on the lower end of what we expected from him. Mm -hmm. um, so we certainly didn't, you know, come in with Ralops as like, oh, we're just going to punt to Ralops. Um, but we did sort of think, well, he just played Ralops against Mike. And I know Bastion likes Ralops, but doesn't love it. Like, I think he... I've heard him say and talked with him before that he thinks it's a good deck, but it's not necessarily, you know, the best deck. And I think uh, we were sort of expecting potentially CCT or bring it before me droids. So let's see um, let's see how this goes. Let's see if Bastion can um, overcome a fairly large uh, differential hurdle here. Yeah. So this is kind of a repeat of the matchup that we saw in the finals of Worlds, right? That's correct. Um, yeah. That. So although so, yeah, I yeah. mean, although that played out pretty, that that played out pretty handily in favor of Ralops. I don't think I don't necessarily think that that's how it always goes. I also don't know that Ralops can consistently win this match by 19. Uh, well, by that's 20, the biggest question, by 20, right? The so. question is winning by 20, right? Yeah. So, yes, I agree. Ralops is favored. Um, Ralops has, you know, some definitely structural advantages yeah. over No Idea. F favorite favorite being... to win the game, but maybe not the match. So. Correct. Um, the part of this is certainly that um, you know, Ralops puts out a lot puts out a lot of drain sites that no idea can't really contest it has you know no idea no idea is particularly strong against decks that want to battle it right so no idea is very good against like bring before me shadow collective decks that want to come at you because they're so hard to break up like their stacks with high forfeit and weapon tricks Ralops is totally fine being like whatever you do your own thing i'm going to spread out my four sites and area do and drain for a bunch yep um and so you know, that's what Bill is going to have to kind of prepare for is that Bastion isn't necessarily going to be committing a bunch at him. Conversely, though, winning by 20 is hard, right? Winning by 20 is hard when no idea is not going to open itself up to, like, some big overflow type battle. Yeah. And there's a lot of aces where Bill can pick up some king stuff that keeps the game going long. Obviously, Stardust ping loop can be retrieving in space you know the executor docking bay is a 1-0 that he can just go set up and drain at right the route here system there's ways for him to sort of force bastion to have to spread wide to mm -hmm. handle a bunch of random damage here and there that will commit more stuff to the board that will make winning by 20 difficult and not necessarily possible yeah this is a play i would consider bold against no idea to deploy your guys it's fine. So the executor say it. I mean, yeah. It's still, he only has nine force, and like, it would have to be. There's nothing. I mean, this isn't like. Uh, there's not like there's lightsabers here, right? Yeah. I mean, I guess Baze. I mean, there's Baze. <laughs> yeah, but it still have to be Baze plus a friend opening hand. And it also. I mean, plus a friend's not hard. hard. Like, no, no idea has like 20 open, characters in it. 30 it characters. You have to be an open it? hand Baze. And yes. I think when you need to win by 20, you. Yeah. Yes, the Leia Bay's dream would be. Well, I guess my, I guess the the point is more right. It's like, uh, down by twenty, you kind of just have to do it. And if he has the base, and you just then you're done. And he has the force up for a barrier, so it's yeah. Really good to do that. Interesting by Bastion, by the way, he did not play the Aaron Do on turn one. Um, he could have just activated yeah. it, so that might be it. Um, or he might be, you know, one way that No Idea traditionally plays this is they force the action at Aaron Do. Mm-hmm. Um, their space is fairly strong, um, especially if they get Bright Hope going with uh, Tor and Far, which lets them, you know, add two to Battle Destinies, recy recycle dudes, and also reduce power nutrition, throw a Fontry Falcon in that. And they can, no idea, can sort of dominate a system. Um, and it might be that Bastion doesn't want to play that game and instead wants to kind of force action at one system. Yeah. Um, which could be difficult for him to hold, but means he's not giving up a drain at two basically. So he's yeah. basically like, I'm just going to throw all my forfeit at Scarif. Potentially. Again, we'll see. 
or at the very least, uh, make Bill deploy to Scarif first. This is a big play by Bill here. He's downloading General Dodana, the two out. Hmm. Um, to pull gold leader and gold one, and then cut off the spy. Sure. Cuts off the spy. So basically, you know, one thing you want to try to do against Raw Ops is cover up your vulnerabilities. Um, and your 2-0 is obviously a big vulnerability, but now D Dodana there, um, and obviously Instruction, not that he's playing Ellis, that 2 is cut off. But also notice, perhaps intentionally, or perhaps he just activated it, that Bill hasn't played the beach, right? Mm -hmm. um, he's not in a rush to get the beach out, right? He, yeah. he wants to just... There's no need to put out drain liabilities right now, but the action kind of develops slowly and see where it goes. Yeah, I think it's pretty common for no idea to hold the beach, and t uh, hold the beach in hand, or just deliberately not deploy it from reserve until for a good ready. Ops, for sure. Yeah, yeah. It really, it somewhat depends on the matchups. Um, yeah, I mean, something like Shadow Collective, you obviously have to wait because you have to flip against Ralops. You kind of don't even want to flip, to be honest. Like against Ralops, you want to just keep pulling your ships whole game on yeah. the zero side. Yeah, uh, so like I think, so, as I recall. Uh, as I recall, that was a part of MHT's game plan at Worlds against Ralops yep. was just don't play the beach. Yeah, I mean, because again, the beach can be a liability. Because, I mean, Ralops has tools to hit hard on yeah. Scarif if they, if they want to, right? They, they have um, the brother who turns off your forfeit. They obviously have Choke Vader often. Yeah, right? they have Tarkin so, so they can get extra destinies. They have Veers and Whopper and stuff, so. Yeah, they actually have really strong tools against no idea because they're not trying to hit them with weapons they're trying yeah. to hit them with high attrition and you know other forms of removal or forfeit reduction yeah so as a result like he often no idea strength is to just drop 40 power on the beach but that's not going to work as well against raw ops yeah and so you really want to kind of again control when that comes out when you're ready to do it if at all yeah well and, um, and as we said like if no idea's plan here is to try to poke at the vulnerabilities that raw ops leaves open Deploying eight characters to the beach is not is kind of counter to that plan, because you're right. just committing so much stuff to uh, to your own location. Exactly. So yeah, not not committing to do that seems seems preferable. And I wonder. Maybe this is just me. I usually always put the document on the other side of the of the prefix office site, but I don't really um... think it matters that much think it matters that much i mean obviously the key thing is just that street is yeah on one side by itself yeah the street's so good yeah i mean bastion is a pretty safe turn one flip if he just wants to do this again you're not really too worried about in general the idea coming hitting your sights hard yeah um, one of the things have... with the errata from a while back to to make 10 men feel like 100 is that it really limited no idea's ability to go after opponent's locations yeah they do have taking them with the, us which you know we did see uh mht play three of in his um second place world's deck so obviously that can be a pretty key card but that would still require bastion or still require taco to to put a route occupy, here. yeah uh, then occupy route here then drop a bunch of dudes which to be fair tantive can be the this just ship occupying route here that makes it into a battleground. Yeah. So he could do it that way. But that's a pretty far fetched turn too. Yeah. Um so if I were Bastion, if you wanted to flip here, you can feel comfortable doing it. Maybe you don't want to flip, maybe you want that fourth site out, because honestly all the extra sites are kind of important, though it does look like he's holding the flip. Yeah. Also Grand Armor Thrawn just straight up suspends that Admiral's order, so it's <laughs> Isar comes out to the 1-1 one, one, as we see that Dodana has blocked up the 2-0 for her as a place to drain. Um, obviously, he's going to do what he needs to do to flip. Yeah. If he could, I would try to save Isar because I think he might need a draining at the 1-0 later in the game. Um, but obviously, you got to do what you got to do. I never remember how these were. Two here. Nope. We're not gonna not gonna be taking a transport to the home one docking bay. No. It's gonna. It would be pretty hard, I think, for that drain one to matter in a game he has to win by twenty. So that's probably, probably true. It's probably fine. Yeah, 
Bastion's route to try to win big here is going to be catch Bill when he is out of sight and can drop, like, choke Vader, no forfeit brother, add for you know, add a bunch of his destiny yeah. and try to overflow him for a while. There. Yeah. Like, I don't think we ever got a differential count uh, in the finals of Worlds because it was game two, so once it was over, I mean, she just conceded. But I think that's a game that Justin could have won by high teens because he did catch those big beatdowns um, and was able to, like, get clears and whatnot. But, yeah. But, again, this is different when Bill knows that right. Bastion needs to win by 20. Yeah. Right? Matt only won game one of by Worlds like two, by four, four. I yeah, it was. it's very a like, slow basically single. A, yeah. a fully honest game. Yeah. Whereas Paco can play a much more cautious game. You just have to do something, right? You can't. Yeah. You know, just literally drop seven guys in the beach and be like, "Okay, I did it. It's over." You know. Yeah. Because um, that's the other yeah, awkward thing is that you can't. Even though no idea can do a lot of damage if it's ignored. Uh, Rops is going to make it so that all of that amounts to, like, two. We do see Tana coming out to Ralph's here, here. Okay. Um, yeah, let's see what he's going for here. Yeah. The wedge, wedge. is a pilot. Okay. Let's wedge see. is an interesting card to have in the deck. So Wedge is really strong, <clears throat> um, really strong against routes against Rollups in particular. I mean, so you sure. have yes, yes. Rogue One, right? So with Rogue One, basically anyone with Wedge lets you cancel. And and Corrin it's, it's, is, does it anyway. And, and Bodhi. And Bodhi, um, yeah. So it is a good, um, good package specifically for Rollups. Obviously, it does nothing in yeah. Shadow Collective and against like the various space decks, like you know, or against the various ground decks, it doesn't really matter. But if you're Preparing more strongly for space. It's a strong play. Yeah. Um, it's funny because I think Wedge, Red Squadron Leader, is a less wise play, or a less wise include in an open meta than it is in a top eight meta like this. Yeah. Because I think you're so more you're, you're more likely to run into stuff that, you're more likely to run in like, into Maul in right. the open than I think you probably are in the top eight of a, or in the top four of a. OCS sort of situation. Just kind of interesting. Hundred percent sure what the plan is here. But this we'll is kind of weird. Evolve. Yeah. Because yeah, it does. I mean, it's a pretty easy. I mean, Matt or Matt, <laughs> Bastion has three Routier sites here. If he drops a shuttle with a dude, that's four because it does obviously count the system. Yeah. Well, it, I mean, one, so. he's drawing at plus four against yeah. Powell and Wedge. Unless part of the idea here. Is that he really just wants him to commit Maybe a resources to a non battleground? Yeah. And the problem is that Tantus can't jump over to Scarif. Um, yeah. Maybe the And barrier. then you don't want Tantus sitting there. He could have barrier, yeah. So he pulls. Um, I like then, he, pull, he pulled Vader's shuttle, but if no idea can get Vader committed to the shuttle, that's pretty good. True. So. Um, but it's just. It's, it's, a little tricky because you have to lose that tantiv or he gets his drains back because then your yeah. tantiv is sitting at their system giving them an icon. Unless, yeah. you know, obviously Bastion plays the Eridu to let him move away, but he won't be playing Eridu. Okay. He He's not going to play Eridu until the tantiv's dead, I think. Uh, two Force is also probably a pretty clear sign of Ant Man, so he could be Ant Manning out Bodhi to pair up with Wedge. Sure. Um, which would be. Which would then be extremely vulnerable to uh, to dark side yeah, so, so yeah, and this this lets him just set up over there, and lets him pay for that so point. Um, yeah, it's an interesting choice here, uh, but it is a drain of one. So yeah, so Bastion's just throwing all of his space with the Scarif. Huh. Um, so this will let him get drains back. Um, he won't get a drain bonus there until he puts a dude on the ground. But it does now give Bill an option to maybe get a couple of dudes to the data vault to grab the Stardust, um, not play the beach, and start hitting him for two. So you're looking at drains of three to two, basically. Um, drain of one at Ralph here and a ping of one at the Stardust. Yeah. Um, yeah, this, interesting this because, like, 
Ralaps could have, or cer almost certainly has a Star Destroyer, but probably doesn't have much more space past what's on the table. Yeah, I mean, he'll, he'll have a Vengeance. Um, but this this is decent for Bill in the sense that, like, if he now can drop, like, dudes to the Data Vault, yeah. and grab that, like, you know, four guys to Data Vault now, ideally one of them for him would be Saw, um, to try to lock up that damage. Now we're both, you know, we're looking at a three to two sort of drain situation. If he has a Luke, he can retrieve. Um, you know, the commitment of the shuttle with Tarkin to Scarif is a very clear sign that Bastion is not going to play Eridu. Yeah. Um, and which means all of you the know ships, where the action is, is all the ships on, basically. Yeah. yeah, and all the ships on table are hyperspeed 3, so they can't actually move. No one's interacting there. with each other right now. Yeah. Um, Lightset obviously has some ships that are hyperspeed more than 3, but... Mm -hmm. Or probably does. Yeah, so it's sort of fine. You have that system. I have my system. Or we're gonna mm -hmm. play Honchu and Falcon. There, there's here, one. Which is, um. Oh no. <laughs> well, except Parkin does draw through that. That's um, true. Yeah. So we'll see if Bill's plan included that or not, because. I mean, Blount, well, actually, not necessarily. I was going to say Blount will cover, but uh, not necessarily, because that one draw does get plus three. three. Yeah, he'll need another guy. And almost for sure he has an Ant-Man in hand now. Yeah, and Tarkin uh, can redraw a low one, so... Tarkin, yeah, and Tarkin's redraw, again, also does let you uh, get through gold leader if you have no force. Yeah, so unless it's, like, double ones on top, we're going to get to at least five... That still won't. That still won't get past. Hey, yeah. All right. Yeah. There's he's enough. There's enough forfeit right here now. So. Yeah, he's got enough forfeit, and again, he almost assuredly is an ant man in hand. Sand. Sand is obviously very strong here. Um, sand will basically make sure. Who's oh, sanding in your hoojacks? Oh, oh my goodness. <laughs> what a feeling. Yes, Tarkin does still draw, but. He is now down by six with a power draw from Montreal Falcon. So yeah. Obviously that's big. He doesn't need to burn the sand here. Um, yeah, sand doesn't do anything here. We'll see. Well, that was a one layup for the power for draw. One. Which oh, could retrieve would, one, probably. Could retrieve one. He chose not to. Might maybe really wants to hold on to like a combination of ant-man and barrier yeah there's escape pods we're looking at 21 to 8 or 20 to 8 yeah so then we're looking to 20 to 15 so he just clears the puzzle and he loses two dudes yeah possibly dude and gold leader but probably two dudes Probably two dudes. If he, it's not awful for him to basically try to keep taxing Bastion on the uh, forfeit here, yeah, or on the draws here. Again, I feel like with two force up, he's basically signaling that he has um, Ant Man. Though Ant Man would let you deploy minus one to there. Um, hmm. Yeah, it's got an extra six leaves, yeah, forfeit. Yeah, leaves one up, so you can grab another extra six forfeit. So then. Um, even again, if Bastion, but you know, Bastion can now swap guys out for Ozzel, which means he can keep command live up there. I mean, it's going to force him to commit some stuff to space, and you're not going to get overflowed up there, so that's not terrible. Yeah, and he's not going to be point... able to get command next turn, no matter what he does, because unless he has a fourth admiral. Yeah, I think the tricky thing here is that he's got to get this off the top. You do have to get some stuff. Right? Yeah. And do we need to off the top, so we're not going to tell back. <laughs> well, he could. If he gets into a battle and draws a spy, you can retrieve the Ota. Draws a spy. Well, but then... Then Saul will be buried back and stuff. Walk back grab Saul. Yeah. Oh, yeah, because Saul gets buried. Yeah. He's not good. So. That's kind of big, because Saul is quite useful... Well, Saul just a gives number him of different locations. Output. Well, it gives him more damage output, but it, I mean, it's he's also useful potentially on the attack. Mm -hmm. So there's a number of ways that that could have been helpful, but 
Yeah, I mean, obviously, it's always easy to kind of second guess or say here, yeah. not knowing what Bill had in hand. If he didn't have a good hand for the ground, I think he'd want to draw some cards, probably. Yeah. Um, so, do we do see the Ant Man? Yep. After the Veers, which would enable two Destinies, probably just a Sand Use, I would think. Probably. <clears throat> I mean, I think the thing here is that if I was Bill, you want to draw enough dudes so you can hit that data vault, basically. Yeah. Um, and so now you're getting close to matching damage, and you can do all this space stuff later. Yeah, you're um, going to need to get to the ground at some point anyway. But we do see a battle here from, you know, and key thing to keep in mind is that Bill does get to pull ships from his deck. Um, so the best ship left to pull would be Bright Hope and Tantive has already been committed. Yeah. I mean, there's another, another a couple of other possible... Well, okay, so it can't be, can't be Wedge and ship because Wedge is on table. Asanya, Profundity are both possible that cards that could be in there. It does depend a little bit on how much, um, how much space Bill puts in because it is kind of variable. Yeah, Bill picks up the Hujix, which will also stop the redraw, so that might um, yeah. save him a little bit. Um, Bill draws that Leia Organa for one power again. Oh, that's just unfortunate. <laughs> the tech just got reshuffled. <laughs> yeah, we can't even call Gimp Bug because it's not like that was the top card. Yeah. <laughs> Floating around more or less. Uh, Bastion oh, draws high. No. Gonna clear both the, the Bodhi and the Gling, and he swaps out Fifth Ooh. Brother for Ozzel. I guess he's a so not Fifth Brother. Not gonna be not in hand this around. turn, but he'll be in hand in future turns. Oh, characters here. Ooh, so he would work in space. Yeah, so Bill only ties, basically makes the Veers get used. To forfeit yeah. while having to lose both Bodhi and Kling. Um, the question kind of becomes is is he going to be able to punch back with a bunch of space, you know, with the pull and the six cards in hand? Yeah. Yeah, this, the Tana being stranded is definitely a very tough thing here for Bill. Yeah. Um, like, Tana being there is fine if you can get to the ground because then you are satisfying and whatnot, but. Yeah, Bastion not playing. I mean, it might be the next thing off. that Bill does is play the beach, add a bunch of, you know, hopefully empty his hand onto the beach and then land the Honshu and Falcon. Could be yeah. a play that works for him here. Um, uh, healthy life totals here, and he gets a free command without a grab. Just to put it back. I assume that telegraphs was another command in Bastion's hand, because I don't think I would use the command there if you... Or maybe he... Yeah, there shouldn't be anyone else to command for between the Ozzel... Yeah, because the Ozzel's in hand, hand so I I would assume before. you wouldn't want to use your command with Ozzel in hand unless you had another one. He is too far away currently from being able to track even back to it, I think. Yeah, this is a big turn here for Bill going to have to um, have to figure out if he well obviously it's very card dependent but if he can keep committing to space and force Bastion to keep up the action here. Yeah. And keep in mind that obviously that shuttle is only a mere forfeit four, right? So Yeah, I mean I would assume that Tarkin's going to die to whatever happens here. If there's a battle yeah. in space. And then Ozzel will come back. He might flip back out for the brother. I mean, the really dangerous thing, right, is going to be how much Bill can keep in space after the battle. Because, like, that Vader shuttle is still up there, so Hanshu and the Falcon won't draw a lot. Okay, so we see Bill playing Taidu. Um, so now he's shifting to the... Like, to the ground, yeah. The and ground then Hanshu and the Falcon can either land, or it can move over to Valtier. That is very true. Honcho, the Falcon deploying... has enough hyperspeed to go anywhere. Anywhere. So he is deploying the beach. Um, which is interesting. 
and Jin as an undercover spy to the beach right now. Not until he plays. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's just like, you know what? I'm just telling you right now. I got this Jin here. And, uh, um, I mean, look, I am no stranger to playing Jin undercover in situations where it's kind of <laughs> weird to do so, but. So now, if you can hold the beach, he'll be matching damage. Yeah. Um, uh, one, two, against two, yeah, yeah. Or three, actually. It'll be three, right? Three, three to three. Two yeah. sites in this in Scarif for Ashen, the beach, the Stardust Ping, and the Drain plus one. I'm sorry, the, the Drain of one at the beach, the Stardust. Okay. Yeah. We see Taidu is going to pick up that Stardust. I imagine Taidu is going to move over, and I would... Walkling's being retrieved to Gling, which is... Okay. It took me so you... long to realize that you were he just grab saying... grab Gling f- again with... Oh, Gold Leader and Gold One? Yeah, that you were saying the full abbreviation of Gold Leader and Gold One. Well, I'm not even saying the whole one, because I'm not saying Gling one. Right, the one, the one at the end. Uh, I think... I, I mean, Gold... land on Chewie and the Falcon. Because I think you want the forfeit. You'd rather land instead of fly away? I think so. I mean, so, so the the other thing is that this move is a lot safer since uh, Veers is committed. I guess it's not impossible for Robs to play no escape, but it'd be kind of unlikely. Right. So Veers is dead. He swap out for brother. He does have brother, right? Uh, he swapped brother away. So the lost pile is brother and Veers. He didn't swap last turn. Right? No. Oh, he, did. he did. No, he did swap last turn. He swapped, put brother in lost, and put Ozil in hand. Got it. So his hand has Ozzel, not Brother. Correct. His Veers is dead. Uh, now, Choke Vader would be really good Choke here. Choke Vader's, yeah. See, that's why Sword would land the... I mean, he's not going to attack that Rel system. No, he's like, not going to attack Rel here. Uh, I mean, the other uh, thought here is that moving Hanshu the Falcon over lets you, like, get Corporal Pow off of here or whatever and move over to, add, to get the forfeit fodder off of Rel where it's not doing anything. But he's drawn up his whole hand. So he's left himself vulnerable to Choke Vader. Yeah. Uh, I mean, like, a Choke Vader Mara here is going to be bad. Yeah. I mean, he has oh, Hujik, so it's not, like, overly bad. I didn't realize that he hadn't used his Dodon to pull the pull Gold Leader mm-hmm. already. Yeah, Interesting. Yeah. Gold okay. Leader was just, I think, That makes the Retrieval make even more sense. Yeah, Retrieval's fine. Um, and it keeps Bastion having to be honest in space. Um, ooh... I hope he has another sabotage. I think things are going to be really bad if he goes Vader Mara. Yeah. I mean, sabotage is such a weird card in this matchup, though, because it's like it's it's great if they have Mara, and it's utterly worthless if they don't. Yeah. So. Cheer it up the top. That's a strong one. Cheer it, Willard, this is a big and turn for sabotage lost to damage this turn. I hope Bill doesn't regret not landing on uh, Jay. I mean. Not that I'm rooting for one or another. I like <laughs> and Bill quite a lot. Uh, He's your teammate. It's fine. Yeah, but... Yeah. I don't have a horse commentary. in the race. <laughs> Unbiased commentary. Yeah. Um, Bill, Bill already cracked my bracket a while ago, so I'm kind of whatever. <laughs> Ashton says, that's some sweet, sweet destinies. Yeah. Of course, I, unclear if that means... Well... Sarcasm the, or not. The six should still be in there, I think, that he drew for a battle a couple turns ago. I feel like it might not be sarcasm. Um, Ashton is 28 in life force. Uh-oh. Soldier 4 comes out. I think that thing is going to commit some guys to the beach. So, a trample is possible here. See, Mars is not, not what you want to pull with Blizzard 4, though. No, of course not. Yeah. Mara just says, oh. And there's your, there's your choke, Vader. So now All we're right. looking at a lot of power. Well, let's see what happens. Choke, so. Yeah, a trample would be... Trample choke, Vader, with Ida Hujix. Which, yes. You know, <laughs> um, still a great tempo swing for Bastion. Yeah. Yeah, the question becomes, like, did you regret playing that beach, basically? Yeah. Because with the brother already gone. Man, I kind of like the choke, be... Vader has come around to being, like, one of the better one. Vaders again. Yeah, he's going to get to retrieve on this battle. Too. Well, he doesn't get to retrieve if he wants to keep Blizzard 4 alive. 
Yeah. Probably will not get to retrieve. Oh man, and then if he chokes Taidu first action, he doesn't even get to draw a card. That's amazing. <laughs> Unless Bill, like, Ant Man's right now just to. Know, just, just, to t just to draw the same Ant Man again that didn't do anything. I, I mean, if you're doing this, I guess it depends on if if Bastion was being facetious, right? And the Destinies aren't actually good, <laughs> then. He's being, but the thing is, he still has a redraw with Enforcement. And he's adding Ozil for Forfeit Fodder. Oh no! Does Bill have a react? That'd be so good. <laughs> I don't think Bill's gonna have a zero to play uh, Diff in game one, Justin was uh, plus nineteen for Bill. Pretty easy battle for Bastion. Yeah. Gonna... There's really very little reason not to battle here. I mean, even if he somehow chokes and misses on the redraw with the choke. Yeah. If it's a double, still has two, the a double one three. or two, yeah. Five. Yeah. And then there's always like the risk of a close call potentially, and it's a lot of things that can happen here. Yeah, it's just these aren't necessarily the three guys that are gonna be yeah, that are, your sight. Yeah. As well. Yeah, close calls are real concern. Uh, I don't know if Bill has a P scan, if there is gonna be a trample. Um, I guess on, oh on yeah, pause by Bastion, he's certainly debating what makes the most sense here. If there's a trample it would make a lot of sense to do it uh, in battle, so you get to rage off enforcement. Well, the choke already does the redraw too. Sure, but you. There's uh, the trample. All right. <laughs> oh, the oh, Bill off. moved the Stardust to Ezra. Okay. To Ezra. That makes sense. So, Jin is gone. That's an interesting choice. Well, if he chokes Ezra, he's just. Well, it doesn't matter because he's going to have to do yeah. out of this battle, anyways. Yeah, killing the Stardust doesn't really matter here. It'll take away a power, but it'll... Yeah. Well, let's see. He's down by 10 right now. And we've got 11 forfeit. Although he's getting plus 3 to the Destiny. So he's probably gonna I mean, what, one must assume a battle is going to occur and that battle is going to involve yeah. the choke Tidu. Well, so yeah, like, even, even, if the choke, even if the choke fails, he'll still have to Hujix probably, so... Yeah, so, I mean, for Bill, it look great. But obviously, what he's going to want to try to do is recover after the Hujix. So he does get the token yeah. Looks like he's the Dessies recover. were, in fact, actually good. <laughs> Not? Yes. Um, he's going to try to recover by probably going at back to the Data Vault. Um, yeah. So to at least get the Stardust ping and at least get your steady 2 damage. Yeah hard to win by 20. Oh, giving up turns of... He's gonna have to... He's gonna have to move his guys back to... He's gonna have to move the Hauntree Falcon with those passengers back to Scarif. Yeah. To now block what is a drain of two. Boy, he was uh, not... He was not kidding at all that his destinies were good. <laughs> Man. He gets another swap out here. Yep. Probably pick up... Probably pick up Fifth Brother again, I would think. Hmm. It doesn't seem like he's going to need Veers here. He's considering what to do here. Oh, he took Palpatine into hand, canceling redraw, and drew another Palpatine. Okay, okay so definitely his draws were good, yes. as he uh, had uh, advertised. <laughs> uh, and now he's swapping with Randu to get back Veers. Oh, interesting. I mean, yeah, it lets him, it lets him really kind of... Yeah. Veers is cheaper and goes with Tarkin, so it's it's all reasonable. It all makes sense. Uh, can't retrieve. Retrieve if he wants to place this report in the round of play. Uh, yes, I wouldn't do that, probably. <laughs> okay. right, so we drop Ezra here. Ezra gets the Hujix. Um... Fashion to commit some cards into play, but obviously. 
Yeah. So cards in play, but we're still we're still life force twenty one for built and six in hand versus uh, nine plus eighteen is twenty seven for Bastion with nine in hand. So mm -hmm. yeah, pretty pretty far ahead still. Um, yeah. You know, he's gonna have to. And then Bill has to pay to do one damage here if he wants to. Which uh, you might do anyway, like. Mm, probably not at this stage. Yeah. I mean, he's going to have to... He's for sure going to have to hook up that Bon Chewy Falcon um, with the guys on it to move in front of the system. Yeah. Um, in order to kind of keep his... Uh, you know, just block that drain of two. And then he's going to need to get some guys, hopefully, to the data vault to... And get some pinging going but yeah just too much that he has to do this turn to pay to do damage oh, even yeah. though there's no way he's paying to drain but yeah it's, yeah. it's gonna be a tough thing to recover from it's like even though he only needs to do 16 more damage really like even counting yeah his hands. committing six, you know 16 more cards in play six more damage i mean yeah. that that is his best shot is the fact that like bastion can't kind of go too much further but he's gonna have to put a lot of cards in play while eating drains of four yeah i mean you know, he might find a loop for some retrieval. I mean, this is where, like, if he can hold the battleground site, then he can also put some dudes to the one out. But yeah, I mean, the other concern too is that Bastion does have a known emperor in hand, so mm -hmm. like, your sand will cover you for one turn, but right, you know, how much are you going to do in that one battle? What standing, can you do through that battle? Yeah. yeah, yeah. I think the tough things for Bill here. I think if we go back to the earlier turns with the Tantive came out to Routes here. Yeah. That was a big commitment for no gain, basically. Yeah. Um, I mean, he hasn't done a single drain there. He was already flipped. It's not like he was blocking a flip. I mean, he spent nine force, and, you know, Wedge is a pretty great body. I mean, he, Wedge would be great if he was up there canceling Battle, Vestibus, and Scara. So he kind of went hard and fast for not a lot of advantage there. Yeah. And then, again, committing lots of into space. On subsequent turns with like Han Chewie Falcon and Gold Leader, never establishing any sort of ground. Yeah, it's um, like the, the aggressive play to Routes here, like, could make sense if it's to set up like the Admiral's Order and then like a beatdown on Routes here or something like that. But yeah, but just didn't. Yeah, that's certainly not what he did. And then, and then he like kind of was forced to play the beach when he didn't actually have great guys to hold it with. And then. You know, Powell could have been a dude at the day. Like, just going to Routes here just didn't really... Going to the Routes here system didn't develop a game plan that was advantageous to him. Yeah. Um, he should have been kind of happy that Bastion didn't want to play here to do because he could have forced just the action at Scarif, but by stranding Tanted that Routes here, it really set him back. Yeah. Yeah. Should have held off on the beach and went hard on one Routes here site. I mean... Yes, except that if you're going hard at Routes here was playing those three guys, that's still just not going to matter. Like, those three guys don't amount to anything uh, away from the beach. Yeah, so we'll have to see what kind of transitions. To Luke Skywalker via Routes here would have looked a lot better, too. Sure, sure. I mean, there's a lot of different ways it could have gone. I just, like, given the cards that Bill has played thus far, it doesn't seem like... Putting right. Tanner throughout like here his, worked out for him at all. It feels like his combination of cards was not correct cards to be fighting. Yeah. Well, here's Ender Route. Commando Team and Luke Skywalker to the front. Oh. How did he flip? Uh, Tanta was not at Raltir when he flipped. Bastion flipped on turn two. Yeah. Dark Maneuver, maybe? Yeah? No, he just... Just, he just played Tantive for Routier after he was post flipped, and those cards just didn't really yeah. essentially commit to anything. Um, so, I mean, yeah, he can clear off the Thrawn here. Uh, I mean, he can clear off the Thrawn, but, he know, but like, they both got also, to verify the destinies, so, like, this they, is. They know they're super high. This so is moderately to... likely to just clear both guys. Well, and the bigger thing is also, like, I think him is, it's not like he's trying to drain at other sites right now. Yeah. He still has the need to drain a five next turn. Well, and he and um, whatever happens in this battle, he can't leave whatever character's left behind. Yeah. And command gets played, it finally gets grabbed. Yeah. Um, I mean, he can shuttle down. 
wedge, you can shuttle yeah. down. Yeah, now that he's committed to pulling off Ow. sand, he can, like, never go in front of Emperor Shuttle, because he can't right. stop the multiple destinies. He's going to hit five there for the next few turns. Yeah. We retrieve your Hujix, at least. Retrieving Hujix is not nothing. No, it's not. It gives him some flexibility. But if he just draws a five, both guys get cleared. Yeah. Drew a four. Okay, so... I think you lose the commando yeah, team. Yes, like, you have to lose the commando team and, like, shuttle down Pal. <clears throat> or maybe you shuttle down both characters. You shuttle up Luke? And shuttle up Luke. Maybe that's what you do. He exchanges Morgan Elspeth with Ozel. So probably assuming that we're not going to stay on the ground, which is reasonable. Well, he's not flipped anymore, so Forfeit oh, Fodder yeah, yeah, yeah. will so Forfeit Fodder actually is, is relevant. He could shuttle down two guys. Uh... Hmm. So this flip back was going to happen anyway, even with multiple destinies. I guess uh, unless... Yeah, it's because you... Unless Bastion them. lost the battle still. Which seems so unlikely with multiple testings, so... Alright, so he's trying to set up a couple of... A drain of two here. He's gonna get hit for five this turn. Bastion has seven cards in the game. Hmm, okay. Bastion probably doesn't have a lot more space to come at Ralt here. Um, Mara's committed. Aider's committed. Yeah, it'd be like... Ears is in hand. Um, Ozzel's in hand too. Ozzel's in hand. Brother is still lost, correct? He still has yes. Brother's brother. brother's still in lost. Brother doesn't do a lot here though. So. Yep. Just uh, that on. Luke is not a Red Squadron pilot by himself. That is correct. I don't actually think any Lukes are Red Squadron pilots by themselves. Oh, uh, well, actually. Ralph Luke... here is a battleground, so if Luke shuttles up. Yes. We let him get a retrieval. Well, I was thinking, like, Luke Rebellion's Hope should be a Red Squadron pilot, because it references Red 5 in text, right? Yes. I don't know. That's down. Yes, and Com Kami Luke is certainly a rogue. Uh, Far Farm Boy is not a Red Squadron pilot. Oh, unless you mean, unless you mean Rebellion's Hope. That it is. Bastion still has 15 cards you can play with, basically. Build down to 18 and 4 in hand. Against 28 and 7? Yeah. Oh, Premier Luke might be. Okay, that's possible. I don't know. I don't play with non virtual cards. But if he attacks the site, at least Pal will let you draw a bunch of cards. Uh, His ability to add Destiny is committed to the shuttle at Scarif. So attacking the system, even if he has, like, a Vengeance, is going to be kind of tough. Well, he could have, like, a Blizzard 2 and... Because he has Veers in hand, right? So he could have, like, Correct. a Walker and Veers. Is he Blizzard 1? Lessons. Blizzard 1, Veers, Trample. That's going to be rough. Rough stuff. Do we have to settle this debate in the chat? Of which Lukes are Red Squadron pilots? Yes. Whether non-V Luke Skywalker is a Red Squadron pilot. So if, if referring to Red 5 in his text makes him a Red Squadron pilot, then he should be. Trample I mean, is it pretty should wild because here. Rogue One is... Um, yeah, because Bodhi's a Rogue Squadron pilot because he's a pilot. Right. And so. by rule, Radis no longer is. Yeah. So here it is. Here's Blizzard 1 and of Veers. Um, he's not going to be able to flip back because he's not going to contest the system, but still drawing two destinies. Yeah. Ozzel to cover Ozzel's. five in mm -hmm. case. Well, that doesn't actually matter. It just added piloting power. Yeah. Because the adding five forfeit doesn't matter because it's immune six. So without so. a trample, you can probably at least still stay alive, Luke. Yeah. You can lose POW, draw a couple cards. Uh, take that in the hand. And then... Hopefully the guys that he draws commits to a different site, shuttles up Luke retrieves. Yeah. But again, this is a lot of damage. We're gonna look at another six next turn. He's at twenty two cards left, so Well, that got worse. <laughs> one. Which 
can get swap the Kyrkanos, maybe? Maybe the Emperor. Swapping the Emperor is reasonable. Yeah, since he's not going to retrieve it. He swaps Kyrkanos for Grand Admiral yeah. And draws an Emperor. So now he. So seven lose total. Luke, lose Luke or lose those Both the other guys? Two. Yeah, but. Uh. Four does nothing. So we get to retrieve an Imperial. Mm -hmm. Kyrkanos makes retrieve. sense. Fifth Brother makes some sense, but I kind of think you want to be able to swap for it. Yeah, Kyrkanos. I think you lose both guys because, yeah, you yeah. can't afford to take a battle damage anyways. If yeah. you draw a couple cards here. You lose Wedge, and then hopefully you have enough of a, a backup B squad to go to the other open route tier set. Or actually, no, you go to Data Vault, probably. I don't know if you want to face Vader potentially choking you, but yeah. it is now a, a live drain again, so you could go there and then get the pain of the drain going. And also, at some point, that Hanjo Falcon is probably going to have to move in front of that Scarif. I don't know if now's the time. Probably not. So, a little bit yeah. of a so it is going to be a question here if Bastion has a Dark Maneuver and can find it. If he, uh, has, well, he, if he has a Dark Maneuver, then he can make some stuff happen. But Because then he can flip back. Oh, cool. I didn't realize Brad and, um, Brad and uh, Dan are streaming the champion big matches. Which is cool. Oh, yeah. There goes the air dude from hand. So yeah, I'm not going to need that. So 30 for Bastion total between hand and life, and 22 for Bill between hand. Pretty dominant board position right now. For Bastion. Yeah. 30 total, but for match purposes, 10. Yes, he can play 10 more cards, though. Yeah. Obviously, he can winning battles. He can play or lose 10 more cards, yeah. So there's another projection. That's. It'll help stimmy a little bit. So, if you're Bill, what you kind of hope you can do is maybe projection there, a couple guys to a battleground, one guy to the executor docking bay, you know, just something to kind of force the action to your advantage a little bit. Yeah. This is Unfortunately, interesting. Gold Leader, yeah. I think Gold Leader is more indicative that he doesn't have anything. Yeah. Generally. Gold Leader um, would probably doesn't... just be so you can move Hunch and the Falcon over. Oh, there, there's I do. You gotta have something. I with guess that you can move, right? move Hunchu. Yeah. I mean, you, you have to shuttle Luke up, right? That has to happen. You can't just have Luke stand there. So. Right, but he's gonna be shuttling Luke onto the Tantive. Yeah. Which is not gonna obviously. I mean, Bright Hope has four. Uh, uh, Bright Hope should have hyperspeed four. It does. Okay, yeah. so it's probably. I would probably shuttle Luke up, Luke Bright Hope Tant, uh, Hunter Falcon, Luke Tandem alone, and I would kind of be like, all right, show me that you've got a Star Destroyer. Mm -hmm. You have, or no, the Hujix was retrieved, so it's not in hand. Hujix uh, was retrieved, it's not in hand, but it's less about that, and I think more just about the fact that, like, um, situation yeah i mean i think you just move that honcho you talking over and be like all right you got the star destroyer yeah there you go. just show yeah. me we can call it um now this blocks up drains a little bit more and he's only taking the drain of three next turn um uh he could sh have shuttled and ship docked that would have been an option yeah i think he but there doesn't seem to be any particular reason to do that um, unless well, your, unless your plan is to forfeit um, Bright Hope. Right. So let's see if Bastion's got that vengeance. Alright. So Bill's losing mm. from hand. He lost the Admiral's Order, Corrin. lost Corrin. I don't love losing Corrin from hand for what it's worth. I mean, it depends, but... Yeah. I think he might have to commit that Corrin to... Um, to one of the dock, to the docking bay or something? To the docking bay, to the one out. So yeah, and again, what's tr tricky here now is that um, obviously Vader can pop right into your data vault and sort of yeah. <laughs> eat it. 
so and you can't really walk outside because you got trampled in Mara. Yeah, and you only have two cards in hand, so probably not a lot of beatdown that's coming to... I mean, he probably just has to dig for the Fujiks again. Yeah. Um, you know, perhaps if he can clear off... So we got Emperor. The Emperor... So now we're getting three destinies in space. You have to pay for all of them, but he has force. No, he has plenty of force. He only has three cards in hand. Presumably he doesn't have much else that he needs or wants to do this yeah, turn. He so can't he can, draw that many cards left, so... Yeah, yeah he'll, he'll happily pay for all that. And, you know, he doesn't have the routes here flip, but being flipped doesn't necessarily do much here. Yeah. Although, you know what would be interesting is if he did find the Dark Maneuvers... Does this battle forfeits the Vader shuttle, and then Dark Man or Dark Maneuvers the Emperor shuttle, and then just moves in front of Tana? Like that would be less than ideal too. There's a lot of ways. This, uh, yeah, moves in front of Tana, moves in front of the Day Development, takes one damage, and then like Bill would have to just move whatever's left over to the Tantiv so he doesn't get blown out. But yeah, Bastion's thinking about what he can do here. It seems like probably not the Star Destroyer, right? It's probably not, not what, what Bastion has in hand. Probably not, if he really had the Venom Charger. I mean, I guess if he had the Star Destroyer in hand, he probably would have played it by now. Yeah. I mean, that's a positive. You play the Star Destroyer, you flip, game's over. You clear him off his of Scarif. You can get, get a spicy battle with the Star Destroyer where you just outpower him 9-6 to six and ping for one. Yeah, I mean... You don't even have to battle. You could, like, if you play the Star Destroyer and move Vader over Shuttle Ozzelup, and then, like, it's like, well, you have to back up Tanif, but then if you do that, you're going to get destroyed at Scarif by Emperor Shuttle, so... Yeah, I mean, Bill's... Cer know. Certainly if Bill needed to win this game, it would be uh, a real problem. Yeah, and I think, honestly, hitting Bastion for nine more cards is not going to be yeah. Um, I mean, just this battle at the system is very favorable for Bastion. He's a clear three of the four things here. Um, I guess maybe he can keep uh, Luke and Bright Hope alive and fly them back over to Ralph here and then retrieve one. But, like, what? Once he moves, um, Bastion can't move to Ralph here. Yeah. Uh, he doesn't have the hyperspeed without going. So yeah, with that, with Dark Maneuvers he can, without it he cannot move back. Right. But it doesn't matter, because yes. Vader's going to walk inside that Data Vault, and like he's going to have to commit multiple more dudes to the Data Vault. Yeah. I mean, committing one Vader. more guy would be enough to kill Vader. Yeah. I mean, the, the beach was unfortunately a real issue. Yeah, right? the, the beach, beach. Playing the beach and losing it was a real problem. But So he is grabbing okay. the Hoojiks back. does mean he has one card left to uh to do anything with Bastion gonna, wanted to have grabbed yeah, grab that just yeah to grab any use interrupt no idea doesn't have a lot of use interrupts for a deck like this where grabbing him is going to do a whole lot of good for you so that seems like a fine one also stops him from being able to track a five if that is relevant that's the powers two that's not what you want doesn't get retrieval Bastion will retrieve another guy, probably. He's down by 12. Uh, Bastion may not retrieve a guy. He's down 12 power oh, here. There, there's a vengeance. Uh, yeah. Bill's alarms have to be going off. Like, oh shit, he does have vengeance. <laughs> <laughs> Just a question of whether Bastion can like find a Death Squadron assignment to play with it. Bill's got one. So we're only at six here. Uh, the, the vengeance was redrawn by Tarkin. Uh, shouldn't be able to be. Oh, no, you're right. I'm yeah. sorry, I'm sorry. I misspoke. Okay, well, he drew, a, he drew a master move anyway, so total 12. So he's not going to win the battle. Uh, he won't so get to retreat one. Bill um, is going to probably lose gold leader Hanshui Falcon. Uh, to cover 12, yeah. Yeah, so he keeps the loop alive for retrieval. So yeah, he really needs, Bastion really needs to draw, like, one more. <laughs> but... Mm -hmm. Fashion's 
this still is, this still is fine though. Ashton sees light at the end of the tunnel here. Yeah, this this still is fine. Vader shuttle added power and did its job. Bill's thinking for a minute. He might be thinking about keeping guys around. Let's see, Luke forfeit seven. Bright Hope forfeits five. He could have lost that instead, but he's gonna lose. Yeah, those, those two. two instead. He's got the Hoojiks in hand. Yeah, see, if he kept the Corin in hand earlier, he could have Corin. There's another dude. Tomorrow's just gonna pop in there. Which is the same kind of. Vader, I mean, probably Mara and Vader, right? Yeah. yeah so go. that so that way Vader doesn't die if you do this battle. Right. Like even if there's another character in hand for Bill, you won't lose. He won't die. Right. I mean, Bill's now gonna have to commit force to moving guys outside, yeah. basically. And then, like, if there's a trample, that's just like <laughs> it's just right. a disaster. I think you hit one for drain, you retrieve one, shuttle Luke, probably move Bright Hope, maybe shuttle Luke down to the 1-1, one, one, but yeah, you don't have cards, basically, so you don't have the dudes to commit to the ground anymore. Yeah. And then, like, I guess you just have to move the guys out of the data vault, right? For sure. Yeah. Like, you, you just have to move them out and hope that your Hoodix will be enough to cover Blizzard 4. Mm-hmm. Because, like, the battle of the data wall is clearly terrible if you just stand there. You, like, get choked almost for sure, and then you have to Hoodix. Well, Bill's leaving a card, a card in his reserve up. So. Uh, I believe an unknown card. Because that's the card he spent to use Escape Pod. He got some spicy ideas for battling. All right, so Bastion loses Moment of Triumph. Makes sense. Not going to need that. Bastion, Bastion came with a plan. He was not going to deploy Aradu. Yep. Yep. The imbalance. Ooh, so. Okay, so we got the imbalance. Ping him again. Just loses Perfect. the data leader, yep. Effectively cancels the loop retrieval. Mm -hmm. played one shield so far. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Definitely don't pick up the Stardust. Yes, yes. Definitely can't pick up the Stardust because you have yeah. to move over. That would be, be wrong. So we're gonna, he's going to see what that destiny is. The insurrection. Um, is it possible that Bill's other card is like a ship and he can like play to Scarif? That doesn't make sense, right? Because he's going to have to draw three destinies and not have to pay for them. Okay, all right. Ray is not Ray's nothing. solid. Ray can take out the Blizzard, that which does let your couple of guys to escape to the outside. Yep. As long as Bastion doesn't have a shampoo. <laughs> I guess it'd be a blind trample, but. Uh, see, this battle, though, would let Bastion swap for Fifth Brother, potentially, and then, like, Fifth Brother, then another character probably takes out Taidu and Melshi. Yeah. And he's still going to eat drains of a lot next turn. Yeah. Still eating drains of three. Four, five, six. Is that? Okay. All right. All right. So he's gonna get the beach. Cassian will let him. All right. So he dug out Cassian with Ray. Yeah. So you can battle here, blow up Blizzard one. I mean, not blow it out. Well, he also won't get the swap, which is big. All right. So you battle here. You kill the Blizzard one. You move the. Right, hope to keep Luke alive. Look, what I'm trying to figure out here is that, like, I got two more force for moving. He does have the Hujik, so he can just force Bastion to battle him and lose the Melshi. Maybe you move, like, Taidu and Bright Hope and just, like, leave Melshi. Like, I'm just trying to figure out what you do with two force. If that had been, like, a six and Bastion and have Gick, that could have been good. <laughs> That's not what happened. I mean, he was only up by one. So it needed. It would have needed to be like almost literally a six to do any yeah, overclock. Yeah, it was six. It'd yeah. be sixteen to eight, and then it was out in three. But yeah. Yeah. Sorry, you were thinking about leaving one of the dudes behind at the data vault. Yeah. So the problem is, if you leave Bright Hope facing down, the three destinies. 
think. This is 29 to 1. Fashion. I'll just make those guys outside. Does Darkseid have Gick? I don't remember if it's known in hand. We have not seen a Gick pulled. Yeah. Fashion. Yep, so that's what Bastion's doing. Yep, okay, so that's what Bill's doing. So Bill's moving over the Bright Hope just to retain control of that one. So, I mean, if he's this gonna. Is Bill's plan. He should have pinged one with Stardust. Oh no, because you can't move a Tidal at that point. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So Bastion's gonna get in a battle where he kills. Uh, no, he could have pinged one with Stardust because he could just pick it up with Melshi and then move the other character away. Stardust and the character it's on can't move away. It is over. Hawk but... was conceded. Yeah, just yeah. Uh, have fun, but um, obviously sets up a really exciting finals, right? Yeah, sets yeah. Up, uh, the sets up, uh, multiple <laughs> champion finals. The two, three-time world champions, right? Yep. So, the decide versus uh, just decide versus Bastion. Bastion. That's uh, yeah. I mean, that's good finals for sure. I think yeah. that's the finals I picked in my bracket, um, but oh, I think they'd almost be. <laughs> Consensus, right? The you know six world championships between them, and yeah, <laughs> uh, I think they won in the three seed, right? I think Matt was the two seed. Uh, that sounds correct. Yes. Yeah. No, this was a you know tough loss for Taco. Obviously, he'll probably kind of look back and regret um, maybe some decisions yeah. in the second game, but he's got to feel good about having such a big victory over. For Bastion in game one, and yeah, know, Taco, an amazing Cinderella story, taking out MHT and taking out um, Joe, yeah, on his way to top four here. He's, he should feel proud of what he did, um, feel upset. and yeah, and obviously, Bastion uh, kind of comes back from a yeah, from a pretty dead. imposing deficit. I mean, yeah, impressive stuff. Um, you know, after kind of winning handily his first two matches and then turn around and win with a comeback like that is, is pretty impressive so yeah for sure it's exciting so we should all be pretty hyped now for uh for bastion versus uh justin Desai. yeah that was a heck of a game yeah all great right. games yeah good games watch. and then looks well, like thanks uh, justin crazy yeah. carl and eric are playing their champion league plan right now that's pretty yeah and it's it's actually and it's on um i think um they're streaming it on the other channel Yes, I believe I believe the main channel has that one. Yeah, so if so you guys want to check that out, head we, over there. We don't want to cut in and take uh, Dan's uh, rating numbers. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, All thanks right. for so thanks for joining me, Drew, and thanks for yeah, thanks, thanks for, for watching, everybody. <laughs> uh, not a problem. Um, it all worked out fine. So, um, happy Thanksgiving, everyone. May the force be with you. Yeah.